If you could capture the melody of nature, it would be expressed as Gandharveda music. From the deep silence of midnight, to the first awakening of dawn, to the fullness of midday, these are the melodies and rhythms of Gandharva music. Stars is a 24-hour long performance, which is the interpretation of Gandharva Vedic tradition by composer Warwick Blair. The audience sits or lies in the space and listens to the 24-hour musical piece while images of the sky are projected onto six screens placed all around them. At prescribed points in the piece, classically trained vocalist Arpita Chanda adds an emotional link to the Gandharva tradition. Twenty-four hours is one day, and uh, in uh, Gandharva form of music, one day could be divided into eight time slots, or you could say eight prahas, and each praha is three hours long. So each three hours indicate a different form and different style of um, classical singing, and a different mood. This whole tradition translates perfectly from traditional Indian instruments to the ambient soundscapes produced for stars. These different moods correspond with the time of day, so in the morning the music is bright and busy, while as dusk falls the tempo drops and the peace of night emerges. This has been my first time that I'm performing with Warwick um, and with a Western composer actually, but it has been um, an extraordinary experience. It was very different from whatever I've done till date. I've never performed in a 24-hour concert. Um, my concerts usually last um, three to four hours. It has mixed music with meditation. So I've not done that before, but this has given me a very, um, very soothing effect. When, whenever I'm uh, performing, it just you know, makes me feel good. And it's, I think it's, it's very different and incredible, incredible experience I've had here. The original idea for the star's installation came from ambient music specialist, composer Warwick Blair, who has a long interest in Vedic traditions. You just choose, or I just chose a little sample, a little audio snippet, which would generate a three-hour section. It works really well, it seems to work, because I've captured the right essence of that period. She can respond to that and interpret that in her Indian style singing. I'm just creating the sound, improvising. You just have to feel the music at that point of time and whatever your mood is, you just sing accordingly. This is it's an idea that's been in the back of my mind, you know, maybe five, ten years. Wouldn't it be great to have my response to that cultural practice? Because I don't pretend to have, um, I don't pretend to play the sita as an example. That's a life learning um, path. Warwick felt that the images to match the music had to be of the sky and was inspired by a poem by Polish poet Leopold Staff. I lie in a boat in the evening stillness, stars above me, stars below me, and stars within me. It's all about transcending our daily existence and finding a truth behind things, which I'm interested in. The video projections on the ceiling, walls and floor are all images captured specifically for the show by videographer and astronomer Paul Moss. At the start, I've been, I, I have a total passion for the, the sky. Um, I've already been shooting the day sky and, and really fascinated with clouds and atmospheric effects, um, circumzenithal arcs, circumhorizontal arcs, parhelia, halos, extraordinary things that go on in the sky that are relatively rare and you have to be a watcher and, and hunt them down. I, I knew that you couldn't make a movie of the night sky, but I knew that I could actually simulate a movie of the night sky. So, um, yeah, I was up for it. It's the combination of the work of these three passionate artists that creates the unique experience of the star's installation. 
so I felt myself, because I've just come from quite a stressful day, getting quieter and quieter and more kind of centred, I suppose, and kind of really remind me of the beauty of nature. At the very least, it gives us an opportunity to step outside our existence and just take time out, which is becoming more increasingly difficult to do. When I see stars and clouds all around me, it gives me the motivation to do better. Oh.